Hello everyone. Today in this lesson we are going to talk about what is an electric potential is. Before going to the electric potential we need to know some basic things. We need to remind ourselves some basic things. Say for example water has to flow from one place to another place. So why does water flows from one place to another place it is simply due to that of a level difference. Is it not water flows from higher level to that of a lower level? It is level is different it means what actually at the level high there is more pressure at the level low there is low pressure. If you remember the formula pressure is something like h rho g. h is different when the level is different that means simply water flows due to that of a pressure difference means what if there is no level difference between the two points there is no pressure difference between the two points then there is no flow of the water from one place to another place similarly how does the heat flows we know heat is a format of energy how does the heat flows when the one body is connected with another body that is due to that of a temperature difference heat flows between the two bodies because of the temperature difference means what heat always flows from a body of higher temperature to a body of lower temperature if there is no temperature difference between the bodies there is no flow of heat energy therefore the parameters like water and the heat flows because of another parameter like pressure difference as well as the temperature difference similarly if there are two bodies that are connected with a contact wire on what basis the charge flows between the two bodies charge flows because of a term called something like potential difference like a pressure difference like a temperature difference in electricity we are having a term called something like a potential difference so before knowing the potential difference let us try to understand what is the meaning of potential itself? Let us try to understand what is the meaning of potential itself. Suppose I want to bring a charge from infinite distance towards another charge. Between these two charges assuming that both the charges are similar charges there is a repulsive force. So I am having a charge say for example Q1. I want to bring some another charge Q0 which is a unit positive charge say for example from infinity to a particular point where the distance between these two points is something like R. Now I want to bring this Q0 from infinity to this point P. So between these two similar charges there is a repulsive force when we try to bring a Q0 from infinity to this between these two there is a repulsive force because similar charges repel each other. So we have to do some work to overcome this repulsive force. That work done in bringing the unit positive charge. We need to do some work to overcome the repulsive force between the similar charges then only you can bring it to this particular position. That work done in bringing unit positive charge positive charge unit positive charge is the difference taken in electrostatics and the current electricity from infinity to a point is called potential at that point potential at that point being the charges are repulsive it is obvious that we are doing the work against that of the field. Now to put it in the format of an equation we can simply say potential is defined as work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinite distance to a particular point that is it that is what is the definition of a potential. We know work done is measured with a unit called joule charge is measured with a unit called coulomb. So the unit of the potential is joule per coulomb 
in the name of a scientist it is also called something like volt. We also know the say for example if you are inclined to write a dimensional formula work done is nothing but energy its dimensional formula is ml square t power minus 2 you know this charge as the current is defined as rate of flow of charge i equal to q by t q equal to i t it has a dimensional formula of i into t so the dimensional formula of the potential is ml square t power minus 3 i power minus 1 further work done is a scalar charge is also a scalar automatically potential is also a scalar that means it can be understood in terms of magnitude itself you do not need any direction once if we understand what is the potential is now we can talk about potential difference say we are having two points for example this is point A this is point B. I want to bring a unit positive charge Q naught from infinity. If you are bringing to the point B first, there you have to do some work. We can call that potential as potential at the point B. Then further if you are bringing to the point A, there also we need to do some work. We can call the potential at the point A. Then the potential difference between the points a and B is nothing but equal to we can say potential at the point uh, A difference potential at the point B. If we are calculating the potential due to a positive charge, if we are calculating the potential due to a positive charge, then we can treat the delta V or V as positive and vice versa. Now potential is the parameter basing on which even we can calculate work done if you know the potential I can write simply work done as something like VQ itself in any of a given scenario or a problem. So potential is the parameter which is defined as amount of work done in bringing a unit positive charge from infinite distance up to a particular point. And because of the potential difference, there is a flow of the current from one place to that of the other place. We will continue this discussion further in the coming video lesson. Thank you for watching.